Um, so why isn't it perfect necessary for the symbol to relate to what it refers to? Because there's no inherent quality in the relate in the correlate that you know that that, that provides you with an indication of the of the of the relationship. And if the interpretant of the to the uh, of the symbol changes, then the meaning of that symbol will change as well. All right. Any questions? Quickly. <laughs> yes. How the index relates to what it refers to. The index relates. There's a shared quality that's an in, that's a quality that inherently <coughs> is part of both the relate and the correlate. So the, the growl and the bite, they both are index. They're, they're, they both share this quality of being there when the when the dog is angry, right? So that that anger is part of the growl and it's part of the bite. They have that shared quality, and it's you know it, you can't separate the anger from the bite, and you can't separate the anger from the growl. Like you could separate the caduceus from friendship, right? And so that's why the index is an index. There's a kind of correspondence, in fact, between you know the the, the quality and the the relate and the correlate. All right. So I had another example that you can go through on your own if you like. Uh, and there, it's just a kind of a, a test example, so you can go through that on your own, uh, and you can find out about starting. Okay, <laughs> all right. Thank you. So uh, Keller on Friday. We're going to start with Keller.